Good afternoon viewers at home. This is Mathematics Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall study arithmetic series. Kindly subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button below the video and the notification bell such that each time I upload new video, you'll be daily notified. Thank you. Arithmetic series. What is a series? A series is formed from the sum the series is formed from the sum of a sequence so that is the addition of uh, a set of uh, numbers from a sequence is called a series you know, when you had every term of a sequence, you get a series. Okay? Now, let's look at an example. In this topic, we are going to discuss our arithmetic series. We have, we could have different types of series. We could have arithmetic, we could have geometric, we could have harmonic series and stuff like that. But in this uh, video, we shall discuss arithmetic uh, series. So, from the word arithmetic series, that means there must be arithmetic progression or arithmetic sequence before we can have a arithmetic series so arithmetic series are formed arithmetic series is uh, formed from the sum of arithmetic uh, or linear sequence or linear uh, sequence Okay, that is uh, how a very series is formed. So let's, uh, for example, for example, to find the sum of the series, we want to find, we shall find the sum of the series, the sum of uh, arithmetic series. We want to find the sum of arithmetic uh, series. So let's find the sum of arithmetic series, for example. Now, we recall that, we recall, we recall that arithmetic series, arithmetic uh, series, uh, uh, or arithmetic, uh, let's say arithmetic sequence, as a pattern, as a pattern, A, A plus D, a plus 2d and so on and so forth until let's say the the, the nth term of it is a plus a minus one uh you know brackets uh, d so this is the pattern for arithmetic sequence okay the first term the second term the third term and the rest like that until when we get when we get to the head term so the sum of this series of this uh, sequence of this arithmetic sequence we give us the series, which is a plus a plus d plus a plus 2d plus and so on and plus a plus n minus 1 bracket d. So this is the, the series. The first one is the arithmetic what, sequence, while the second one is the, uh, the arithmetic series. Okay. So suppose we have this to, we call this one equation 1. That is, if the arithmetic uh, series is in, uh, you know, ascending order that way. Now, suppose we now reverse the addition or the sum. It is, we now have Sn, which is the sum of uh, n sum of arithmetic series. As we start from the last one, a plus n minus 1 bracket d, you know, plus dot, dot, dot. We could have as many as possible. We could, uh, you know, have plus uh, a plus d plus a, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now, let's say this is equation two. So adding one and two together, adding one and two, adding equation one and uh, two gives. So suppose we don't have equation one and two. Suppose we have we have equation one and two. So what do we have? 
Sn plus Sn, that will be 2Sn is equal to. Now recall that this Sn means sum of n term of arithmetic series. This also means sum of n term. So if we now had them, you know, uh, term by term, we are trying to say that we had the sum of n term of, uh, of, uh, of this, or, you know, of the arithmetic series. So this will be what? n into, because we have n term there, then a plus this, a plus a plus n minus 1 bracket d, you know, because if you had each of this, we have this plus this, you, you are going to have uh, the same thing as when you add a plus d plus, you know, some, some values are omitted here, plus a plus and so on. So the last one here, a plus a minus 1 bracket d plus a, the last term here is uh, the, the, the end term here, the term, the tn is a plus n minus 1 bracket d. The first term here in the reverse order will be a. So if you add them together, each, each addition should be the same thing. Okay? So that will be 2sn two, two is equal to n into a plus a is 2a plus n minus 1 bracket d. This n is coming from the number of terms, n terms. That's, that's why I say Sn, sum of n terms. So the, the, the number of terms in that series is n. So that's the and the value you obtain from each uh, corresponding addition will be the same. So if you have five, that's it, when you add this and this, you have five, this and this, you have five. So five multiplied by that n will give you five n. Okay, that's why we have a head here. So number of terms. So we have two. Uh, you know, so now, now to get your Sn, you divide both sides by 2. So we have Sn is equal to n all over these 2 into bracket 2a plus n minus 1 bracket d. So this is the sum of uh, n terms of arithmetic uh, series or arithmetic progression as the case may be. Okay. Now, if you are given the, if your help, if we start putting L the last term to be a plus n minus 1 bracket g. That is putting L to be a plus n minus 1 bracket g. We will have, when you put L to be that, we are going to have, uh, we are going to have Sn is equal to n all over 2 into a plus L. So by the time you, have, you, you replace that, uh, a plus n minus 1 bracket d with l. So each, each, each corresponding uh, addition will be a plus l, a plus l, a plus l. And multiplied by the number of terms is a, then divided by the two you have there. So because originally by the time you put that uh, l to the a plus n minus 1 bracket d, so you have uh, sn will be what? n into bracket uh, a plus l. So divided it by these two that you have here, will be what? n over 2 into. So this some could be used if last time is given. Last time is given. So if you are given last time, that's when you use uh, Sn is uh, equal to n over 2 into a plus l. So please just take, take time, take, take your time and start, study how we obtain the, the sum of n time of an arithmetic uh, series. Let's look at examples. Let's look at examples. Let's look at an example. Um, the example is example one. Example one. Example one. Find the sum. Example one. Find the sum of the twelve of the twelve terms of the sequence. Two, five, eight, eleven, and so on. So we want to find the sum of the twelve, sum of the twelve terms of uh, that particular, uh, you know, arithmetic uh, uh, sequence. Okay. Now, how do we find that? First of all, write your formula out. S n equals to n all over two into 2a plus n minus 1 bracket d. So you have to memorize the formula. Now, 
We won't use this one. We will use uh, the one that has L because in our given question, we don't have the last term. So the three dots here means that the list is endless. So you can, you, we don't have the last term. So we use this. Okay. So our first term, according to the question, is two. First term is two. So the common difference here will be five minus two or eight minus five or 11 minus eight. So that will be five minus two. We call it common difference because uh, the, the subtraction must be even, must be the same thing. There must not be difference. So the difference will be common to that. Okay? So now, therefore, our n, don't forget, is the 12th term. But there is a, the number of terms there is 12. So you have to have the first 12 uh, uh, elements in that sequence. So S12 will be 12 all over 2 into 2 multiplied by 2 plus 12 minus 1, then your D is 3, so that will be 2 into 12, that's 6 into 4, plus 11, because 12 minus 1 is 11 times 3, that's 33. So you have 6 into 4 plus 33, that's 37. So we'll multiply uh, 37 by 6. So you have 2, what is 2? 18, 2, 2, 2. So you have... Um, 222. That is the value. So let's look at another example. Let's look at another example. Example 2. Example 2. Example 2. The sum of the first 10 times of the first 10 times of, an, of AP, that's arithmetic progression, is minus 60. And the sum, and the sum of the first 15 times, first 15, 15 times of the sequence of the sequence is um, minus 165. Find the 18th term of the sequence. Find the 18th term of the sequence. Okay? Now for us to find the 18th term of this sequence, let us look at uh, how this could be solved or could be found. Now, we are given some values. The sum of the first 10 times, that is S10, the first 10 times is minus 60. Okay? That implies, that implies S10 is equal to N all over 2 into 2A plus N minus 1 bracket D. So, that would be what? Minus 60 is equal to 10 is the number of times, which is N. 2a plus n 10 minus 1 bracket d so this will be what 5 into 2a plus 9 times d 9d so that means that minus 60 is equals to this so we can call this one equation one but this, we can divide through by 5 yeah okay so we have uh, dividing through by 5 we have minus 12 is equals to 2a plus 9d so let's call this one equation one okay now the second one, some of the first 15 times of the sequence is minus uh, so first 15 times now, the first 15. So some of the first 15 is minus uh, 165. So we take the same process. S15 will be equals to n all over 2 into 2a plus 14d. I hope you understand because the uh, number of times here is uh, 15. Okay? Now with that, with that, we have, and the uh, S15 is what? Minus 165 is equal to 15 all over 2 into 2A plus 14D. So you can multiply 2 by 2. That is a 330. Yes, 330 minus 330 is equal to 15 into 2a plus 14d 
I think uh, do we have, can, can three goals or five? Five can go. Five year three. Five year six. Six is six. And uh, if, if five year go three, five year um, um, six, you know, that's uh, 36. Three can also go. Three year one. Three. Okay. So that's 22. So 15 can go into 330 times 22. That's minus 22 is equals to 2a plus 14d. So we can combine the two equations. Yes, you know, you can see that we have gotten a, a simultaneous equation. Combine equations 1 and 2. So we now combine equation 1 and, uh, and 2. So now we have 2a plus 9d is equal to minus 12. That's equation 1. And uh, 2a plus 14d is equal to minus 22. That's equation what? 2. Okay. So obviously we can eliminate a by subtracting the two from one. So subtract equation two from one. So as we get uh, d, we have what two a plus nine d is equals to minus twelve. That's minus two a minus fourteen d is equals to twenty two because you use that minus sign to multiply through through the second uh, equation. So with this. We have 9d minus 14d. That's what? Minus 5d is equal to minus 12 plus 22. That is 10. Okay? So d will be what? 10 all over minus uh, 5, which is also minus 2. Okay? By dividing the by what? 5. Now, put minus 2, d is equal to minus 2 into any of the equation 1. Let's say equation 1. To get d okay so which one says um 2a plus 9d is equal to minus uh, 12 we want to get a now sorry we want to get a so that's 2a plus 9 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to minus uh, 12 2a minus 18 you know is equal to minus 12 i hope you understand that 9 times minus 2 that's minus 18 2a is equal to minus 12 we are collecting like terms now, plus uh, 18. 2a is equal to uh, 6. So divide both sides by 2, a will go 6 all over 2, which is what? 3. Now the question says, we should find, we should find the what? The question says we should find, uh, where is the question? The 18th term. Find the 18th term. Now to get the 18th term, now to get the 18th term, so what formula do we use there? We now use t18 is equal to a plus 17d. I hope you can remember from tn is equal to a plus n minus uh, 1 bracket d, and our n is what 18. So that what a is now what 3 plus 17 multiplied by d, our d is minus uh, 2. So that what 3 plus times uh, minus, that's minus 34. That is minus 31. So that is that about uh, that. I hope you understand clearly. Very good. So please don't forget to click the subscribe button below the video. God bless you.